giant geyser erupts known National Park. Icelandic volcano's massive eruption continues. Not since Mark Twain has there been anything like what people witnessed in the steamboat area south of Reno this month. A geyser spewing hot water 30 feet into the air. This natural phenomenon has captivated curiosity seekers and scientists alike, hoping to catch a glimpse of the most spectacular geyser activity reported in the area since the 1800s. I've never been to Yellowstone. But to me, this seems like a very close second," said Rachel McCander, a geologic information specialist at the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology. In the 1800s, Steamboat was estimated to be the third largest geyser field in the United States. During the 20th century, most of its activity remained underground, until recently, when mineral-rich water began seeping through the surface once again. However, in early June, the geyser resurfaced, spewing water from an abandoned geothermal well. The geyser has now subsided, but the area remains geothermally active, with several small pots bubbling nearby. Geologists are actively studying the area, visiting frequently to observe, take water and rock samples, and monitor temperatures with probes. Carrie Lindsay, a research geologist with the Nevada Mines and Geology said he wants to find the answer to the million-dollar question, what caused the geyser? It could be a lot of things. There was a change in the water table in South Reno, as the area transitioned from agriculture to housing. The water table probably rose, Lindsay said. It's possible there was a small micro-earthquake, and that could have shaken one of those fluid channels. While the cause of the geyser's eruption remains an open question, its receding may have something to do with Phil Busick, the landowner on which it sits. I have a neighbor here who has one in his backyard. He's a very smart guy, and he's helping us out," Busick said. We poured cold water directly from the garden hose that was in the building. We stepped back a few feet and put it in the hole, then let the water run. The Silver State is one of the most geothermally active regions in the U.S. Its location is perfect for that activity, because it's located near two tectonic plates, which makes the Earth's crust relatively thin. In western Nevada, the crust is thin enough, and the magma is close enough to the surface to heat the groundwater. Magma is flowing again in the land of ice and fire, after an eruption in Iceland's Sunlux Gigar crater row. This is ninth such area, and twelfth on the Greater Raycans Peninsula, since the latest volcanic cycle began, with the eruption of Fagradalsfjall in 2021, according RUV, Iceland's public broadcasting service. The eruption began just before 4 a.m. local time, after a swarm of seismic activity according to the Icelandic Meteorological Service, prompting evacuations from the village of Grindavik and local tourist attractions including the popular Blue Lagoon Spa. Reports from the Icelandic Meteorological Office say the eruption consists of multiple fissures, one near the Sun Nakor crater is around 2.4 kilometers long, and another smaller fissure of about 500 meters is located west of Fagradalsfjall. The Meteorological Office also notes that witch's hair, fine glass fibers formed when lava droplets cool rapidly and stretch. Residents are being advised to stay indoors, keep windows closed, turn off ventilation systems, and breathe through their noses. High levels of gas pollution were measured in Reykjansbær, but are decreasing. Deformation data continue to show ongoing uplift at Svartsengi, although the rate has slightly decreased in recent weeks.
The data indicate that approximately two-thirds of the volume of magma that was withdrawn from the magma chamber during the event on the 1st of April has reaccumulated. If the rate of magma accumulation remains unchanged, it is expected that the probability of a magma intrusion or eruption will increase as autumn approaches.